Hey yo, audio, my name is Ford Mustang Kill KO and welcome to the video. Today people, today I am here reviewing the Darth Maul Force FX lightsaber. Um, this is a different angle than I'm, fil than I'm used to filming at, um, but hey, it works and everybody's currently downstairs so I can't really use the regular filming area, so we're going to make a do here. Uh, before you guys ask, yes, I did pick up two. <laughs> You have to. You have to. You can't just have one of these. You have to have both of them. They do connect to the double-sided lightsaber. I will show you that. Um, I got this actually at uh, my local GameStop. They had them um, both there. They had two of each. They had two of these ones and then two of the Obi-Wan Kenobi ones from episode one, uh, which I'm going to be picking up pretty soon. It's probably going to be the next video. Um, and then, so after I picked up these two, it's just two more lightsabers I need for my collection collection, and then everything else I get past that is going to be just for shits and giggles, but basically is to, to um, put it in the nice way. But yeah, they did have both of these there. They actually had these on display, so they were out of the box, so I got them for a little bit cheaper than $149.99, which was kind of cool. Um, but hey, it works. So we only really need one box out. Um, this is, like I said, the Black Series, so it's still the same classic Darth Maul, um, well, same classic Black, hold on, let me refresh that. It is the same classic Black Series box, so I don't really need to go full in-depth, uh, detail, uh, um, about that. I can't talk today. <laughs> um, it is number 10, I don't know if it's flipped for you guys, I'm filming with my front-facing camera, so I don't know, this, this is zero one for me. But uh, I don't know if it's going to flip it after I'm done recording. But anyway, um, it is number 10 out of the collection. So I think there's 11 now. I could be wrong. There could be 10. Um, I'm not actually going to be picking up the Mace Windu one because I have the Master Replicas one. I thought about it. Maybe if the opportunity present, pre presents itself and it gets really cheap or something like that, and then maybe I'll pick it up. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the Master Replicas Mace Windu. Um, but it was better that this came out and I waited for it because I was going to buy the Master Replica versions of this one and it's hecka expensive. Um, when you open up the box, you do get, ah, I can't do it now. you do get the same old stand, which again, I'm not actually going to be using to display. Um, I did finish my, my display thing for the lightsabers. That's actually what my phone is leaning up against right now to, uh, film this. Um, but like I said, after I complete all the lightsabers and I get them all up there, then I'll do a full showcase of my complete collection. Uh, you could see that I do have the Kylo Ren one um, behind my door there. And that's basically where that one's going to stay. And then I have the uh, Emperor Palpatine up here. But that's basically the only two that are not going to be displayed on the uh, wall. So we'll get there eventually. I'll show you guys all of them next to each other. But for now, we're going to go ahead and review the Darth Maul lightsaber. So, um, let me get the lightsabers down, and then, um, we'll do a review of them, so. Alright, so this is the Darth Maul lightsaber. I'm gonna get it nice and close for you guys there, so we can get a little bit of a, a little bit of a detailing in it. So, this is what the saber looks like, um, not functional LEDs over here. Um, these two bottom buttons don't really have a function either. This top button here is going to be your ignition switch. You flip it over, it opens, it turns on, yada yada. Um, I don't have the batteries in there right now. Um, Dark Tech knob on the back, again, not functional. They are kind of looser than the other ones, so I don't know if I'm going to tighten that up or what, but uh, looking into that. And then the rest of the saber is just kind of, you know, there. Pretty cool. Definitely one of my favorite designs. Um, the bottom is the same from the uh, original. You can see kind of the, the crystal on the bottom from when it was sliced in half. And it is exactly identical to this one. Like I said, I have two of them to make the double-sided saber. Now, both lightsabers, I'll get this in detail as well, do come with a coupler. Um, you only need one coupler out of the box. So the other one I still have packaged in the original box. Um, and there's actually a Allen key. Looks like this that comes with it. Um, again, my other one is in the box with the other coupler. 
And basically, you stick the Allen key into the bottom of here. I'll go into a little bit more about that to get the sabers to the buttons to line up exactly. When I first screwed it on, the buttons were way off and I had no idea what the heck was going on. And then I realized, reading the instructions, that you need to have the Allen key. You screw this one into the bottom. Then you screw this one into the other side and you line up the buttons. And then you, un you unscrew the lightsaber and tighten it with the Allen key so this will stay together. This is two halves. Um, and they're, they're loose when you loosen them with the Allen key. And then you just basically adjust them so, you know, your, your buttons are aligned. And so the, the buttons on the, on the sabers are, to make this more sense, are like this and not like that or something, you know. Um, so the saber looks good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slide some batteries in here. I have my big cup of batteries, as I like to call it. And that's the batteries for all my all my lightsabers. Um, this lightsaber, to my surprise, they actually take AAA batteries, which is a little surprising to me. Um, but that's what they take. So we're gonna get the batteries in here, and then I'll take the phone off, and we'll get a little bit further, uh, a better review on here, and then I'll put it into double staff, and then we'll um, take a full wee video, I guess. I don't even know how to describe it. We'll be right back. All right, perfect. So basically I got uh, the batteries. I didn't even put this back on. All right, cool. Uh, we got the batteries back in both of the sabers on there. I am actually thinking of taking this little guard off of them because it's kind of annoying screwing them on and screwing them back off and whatever. They're not in one, but it still works. It's not in this one. Uh, anyway, this is the saber again. The activation switch is up here. And then same on this one as well. So they're identical. They got the swing motions. So pretty cool. And they're loud. And then uh, real quick, I'll show you with the coupler on there so we'll get it to the staff version. Alrighty. So I got them connected here for the full staff uh, with the coupler in the middle. The coupler, like I said, is adjusted so all the buttons are in line and so that these two holes are in line as well. They're a little off, but you know, it's not that noticeable um, that way. These holes are vented for sound, so the sound does come through both sides of the lightsaber. And what I just discovered now... Hey guys, real quick, while I was editing the, editing this video, um, I did wanted to let you guys know, um, I try to have a text go across the screen. Miss Haley. I try to get text to go across the, stream, the screen to like kind of tell you guys a little bit more about this, um, but it wasn't really for working that well but um it's not that the uh what i say in the video if the coupler is all the way in these battery packs aren't all the way in the lightsaber the saber won't turn on um, i think gamestop actually messed up by having that on display and like messed up with this battery pack a little bit or this is just a bad battery pack um but basically if this battery pack i guess is not in right or whatever um the lightsaber will completely turn on but there will be no sound and if you hit the lightsaber the sound comes in and out and uh, i have a feeling i'm gonna have to do a lot i'm gonna have to do what i did with the master yoda lightsaber and uh, contact hasbro and see if they can either send me another battery pack or if i have to buy another lightsaber and send them the one that's broken yada yada that that whole scenario um but what i did end up doing is taking these screws all the way out and opening this battery pack and then i saw that the soldering for one of the wires is kind of loose um, i tried to like push the wire back into the circuit board uh, with a screwdriver i didn't re-solder it or anything and that seemed to have worked it's still doing it just a little bit but um i'm gonna have to see i might try and re-solder it on there and see if that fixes it if not i'm gonna have to contact it for the battery but um no it is not it's not what i say in the video where the coupler needs to be screwed in all the way for it to turn on it's just i have a bad battery pack so um i'll let you guys know what i end up doing with it but for now it's kind of it kind of works off and on so i'll see if it still bugs me but that's where we're at so enjoy the rest of the video by trying to put this together is that if both sides of the saber are not completely 
tightly screwed into the coupler, the saber will turn on, but there will be no sound. And I don't know why, but you just have to make sure that both sabers are tied very tightly, not really tightly, but like tight enough that it's not, the battery pack's not uh, loose inside. Um, and then it's firmly pressed inside the bottom of the saber. But uh, this is what it's gonna look like fully lit. Pretty cool. And then, probably that's about to hold a bit. Very cool. Let's get the lights on here and we'll see. All right, that's about as dark as it's gonna get. So here is the staff. Can't really do much in here without hitting anything, but uh. It's kind of cool because you have like control of both cybers, so you could do kind of twist them at the same time and do a full activation. Wait, that wasn't like my finger slipped off the button. My bad. Do that and the full deactivation, or you could do individual, like he does in the in the battle scene. But whoo, this is probably still well. This probably takes the cake for my favorite saber so far. But uh, yeah, that's it for the Darth Maul staff. It took me a long time to get this. Um, long awaited time to get this. I should have gotten it a lot sooner than I did, but I'm glad I waited. Um, if you guys are excited, we've got two more lightsabers left in my collection, and I'll do a full showcase. And then, like I said, anything else I get after that just for extras. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, and um, I'll catch you guys on the in the next one, I guess. For Mustang Kill KO, signing out.